like I've only ever twice trained with uh, Danny and Asano. So Danny's, Danny was brilliant, and I remember him. I, I couldn't keep up with him. He was teaching a technique. He said, you know, this one, bam, mm -hmm. right? So we're working on this, and I asked myself, I wonder where that is in my kata. Now, I right away could do Ishinru, because in Ishinru we have that. Sure. So I'm like, oh, I've got this here. I wonder if it's in my other katas. And I went, huh, look, sure. Shuto. <laughs> and so I thought that was interesting, but what it did was it, it's, it gave me a principle that I work with, which is anytime I see something good, I ask the question, where is that in my kata? And now I have a place that I can put it. It's like a hook that I can hang it on. So it's the mnemonic function of kata. So kata has a transmission function and sort of uh, pedantic or pedagogical function where it's trying to teach you something. And then kata has a mnemonic function where it's trying to help you remember stuff you know. The question has always been, what's in the art? What have I forgotten or not learned that's in the art? So, you know, this comes back to that question of uh, what is the nature of style? And so I have two answers to that. One is uh, the answer that, um, the, the sociological answer, what is style? Uh, the definition of style in the martial arts is, uh, what does it mean to win with style? Right? right? Right. Yeah, you kicked him in the groin. That's not fair. That wasn't winning with style, right? So it's like, it's one one style says, oh, judo is a great example. To win with style in judo is ipon. Now, you know, it's degraded to newazi and stuff like this, and they're falling on the ground. But when someone gets ipon, the judo world goes freaking nuts. If you see ipon in the Olympics, everyone's like, oh, mm -hmm. because ipon is that's that's what it means to win with style. So every art has its own answer to that question. And then if you understand, if you understand that thing, if you can identify that, you can actually look at the shape of the art and see how the art, um, why the art looks the way it looks. You can actually see it sort of moving in the direction of the training methodologies and stuff like that, the emphasis, moving in the direction of that ideal. So that's one answer. That's a, it's a valid answer. It's sociological, it's cultural, it's emotional, because it's what does it mean to win with style. But the other answer is, uh, it's just that the, it's just curriculum. It's just how we learn the principles. And the principles are universal, imply the same way to every system. So there is technically nothing more than variance in preference. I like more pepper. Well, I like pepper, but not as much. You know, that's what it comes down to on that side. So it's more like how you flavor a dish. Sure. Sure. Same ingredients, same spices, same human body, same everything, and then just... The answer to we do it this way it, literally is just based on preference, not, right. not uh, style. And uh, we do it this way actually has a, a thing to it because a lot of times that how we do it, how do we do that, oh, we do it this way, is often a way of saying... Um, this is the better way of doing it, where if I look at it from another point of view, if I say, um, do you only do it that way? Because <laughs> that thing you're doing might have a thousand different ways of doing it, and if you only do it that way, then maybe you need to get out of that box that you're in because you know, it, 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 it's looking at the wrong thing. This actually brings me to where we'll start. <clears throat> Rolling. We have been rolling. <laughs> uh, so, that was good feed there, right there. I know that actually feels to be like. Uh, so let me let me just do that. <laughs> so I'm Chris Thomas, and with Chris Martin Giglio, and this has uh, been a reflections from the master class. Thanks for watching. Now go train.